I think I may have turned up my gain. Oh, that went red really quick. So we're just going to turn it down just a wee bit. That's probably good. Creepy Super Mario Brothers music. So what's happening, guys? We're back here on the um, good old uh, Omna Factory server. Uh, what's, what's going on here? Just making a lot of sand. Lots of sand. Plenty of sand. All the sand in the world. Um, let's get some glass. I guess we keep running out of that. Thousand key things. Let's see how quick that actually gets to this machine. Boop. And so basically processes all of it instantly, which is hilarious. Looks like it's doing like three stacks at once. So that's that's good. I guess that's taking advantage of some of the uh, efficiency with this thing. Multi smelter, smelter. It's pretty overpowered. Want to give us plenty of glass. Probably more glass than we'll ever use. I hope. Ah, <sighs> so a lot's been going on since since last I streamed some Omni Factory. Um, I've got set up a bunch of the miners through here. What's uh, which one's this? No recipe. What are we doing here? Oh, uh, right. Crystal Matrix, th this guy. <clears throat> the next in our uh, our miners. And then here we're doing a Motive Omnium. Omnium? Omnium? Uh, so that's what we're going to work on today is the, the stuff that we need for the moat. Um, I've got here a list of all the things that, that we need to, to make a single moat. Uh, so we're just going to go through the list and get what we can get. Stabilized Thorium is the first one. That's going to be a pretty easy one, I thought. What in the world? Hold on. Are we seriously going through that much? Thorium, and we're not using any of the best of the two. Wow. Okay, let's start processing this uh, black granite. Um have some more thorium in the backlog. Apparently we've gone through a decent amount of it just with having this guy, I believe. Are you the... That's our uranium guy. It's probably this one that's running right here. Yep, TBU fuel. What you're getting from doing that, I think. Which is another thing, another way to get thorium. I might just do that instead too. Because I think we're okay on power. So thorium uh, and uranium, maybe plutonium? I don't think plutonium, but um, we'll check. not going to be that gay. This one maybe? Probably this one. Yeah. So, uh, except that's taking a 244 and turning it into 239. Can we get that back into... Hold on just a second. So... Plutonium gets 244 and 241. 244 you make with the nuggets, smelting the dust, or the fluid. I don't suppose there's any way to get from. Let's see. No. 
Nope. 239. I'm looking for one of these that'll use the thermal centrifuge to basically reproduce itself. Which one was I looking at there? 242. It's not going to be 241. one that had the ingots. Nope, not that one. I guess there's no way to do it with the plutonium. That's unfortunate. Oh, hold on. Yeah, 244. Turns into 239 and 242. Dang it. That's kind of what I wanted, but... Anyway, on to thorium. So I'm, I'm making thorium with uh, the granite and, and processing it and doing some craziness. But I think... Let's see, go through these guys. So we can take a thorium ingot, thermal centrifuge it, and get tiny clumps of 230 and then we get the 232 back, which we can then, I think, process back into the ingot by liquidizing it. And then, yep, turning it back into the ingot. So that kind of goes into a loop of you basically take it and centrifuge it and you just keep getting 230. And then use the 230 for something, the thorium. Yeah, I guess that's really all you're all you're used for. Uh, which which we would then use the thorium fluid to make the stabilized thorium. How can I get that going? Let's see. Or we can just use the two thirty two that we keep making. Probably do that because we got the dust. It's 232, right? Yeah, hold on. It only takes the 232 to make that. Get the 232 from. So, what are we doing with the 230 then? Where's our thorium 230 going? Are we not getting any? Because I know we're thermal centrifuging thorium, or have been the thorium dust. Uh, let's see if we can find where our centrifuge is at. This guy, maybe? Such random music. Uranium. Good reactor. Well, I thought I was processing some uh, some thorium dust somewhere. I have no clue where. It's just weird that I don't see any use for the uh, for the two thirty. How can we do with our black granite dust? Makes a lot of stuff. What's F? Fluorine. We need fluorine as one of the one of the things, so I guess we should start processing that too. Let's see how are we on fluorine. 
none. We have. Why are we running out of electrolyte fluids? Running out too. That's probably fine. Well, that's uh, that's that's what we'll start with. Is how we process our black granite dust. So we're gonna get you in an electrolyzer. We'll start getting biotite dust, and silicon dust. Which would that electrolyze? Or smelt to get carbon monoxide? Question mark. Yeah, that one's definitely getting processed in the electrolyzer. So electrolyzer for this. Turn it into those two. Biotite, you're also getting electrolyzed. Cool. So, three electrolyzers. Um, we'll just go with uh, IV because we've been doing a lot of IV stuff lately. <clears throat> so, molecular disassembler. Need osmium wires. Uh, do twelve. Well, it'll take just a minute to make some osmium. except for the osmium on that one. That's not common at all. All right, so we're gonna do, uh, we'll do them down here, should be fine. Do, do, do. <clears throat> and starts with a B, that guy. Turn you into a regular face. Two of those and one of these guys. Actually, we'll probably deal with just a single one, I guess. And just use an arm to transfer the exact amounts to. The electrolyzers here. 20 seconds for that guy. 30 E per tick. It's 12 seconds for that. That uses 3 and then 88 seconds for 22 of those. Yeah, that should, should be okay. Should be able to do that with a single one then. I'm good arm. Eh, just in case we do have to split it, let's go ahead and put it here instead. Or does it really matter? I guess it doesn't matter whether we're pushing or pulling. Get item filter. No, don't show you. Conveyor. Import. And that's going like crazy. Oh, and we need to configure that arm guy. So hold on. Let's grab. We need 22 of that and some of that. Okay. So, item filter, silicon dioxide, three. Uh, supply exact. 
And then 22 of these. And export. And you're probably full on, yep, fluids. Uh, so you're going to get fluids and items here, and we'll just uh, auto output the items downward. Or we can, we can probably conveyor them out, that's fine. In terms of conveyors and... Come on now. Uh, in terms of conveyors and pumps, I think the conveyors probably have a leg up on the pumps. Yep, export's fine. And then I'll go output the fluid. And we'll attach a fluid face there. <clears throat> I'm expecting it'll fill up on fluorine. Oxygen, yep, that's going to go away instantly. No fluorine? Fluorine's going good too? Okay, I didn't know we had, uh, had one of those for it, but I guess we do. Let's see... That guy? Yes. <clears throat> Not sure what fluorine's used for, but this will be nice because we need lots of it. catch up. That's nice that it's taking turns. Let's just go ahead and clear this out. Cause I don't care if we have just some extra dust in our system. Maybe I do need another disintegrator to, to kind of... One for the biotite, one for the silicon. I mean, it's not like something we can't do, so... Just an extra machine. And we put it here. Nope, we put it on the export. So, we'll... God damn it. No, just clear it out. God, fuck. Shit. My. Okay. That was harder than it should have been. Nope. And this needs. What do you need? Still plates. So it's going to be supply exact and that. Do, 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 do. So, actually, um, you know what? We don't. We don't even have to supply exact. It, it just has to be transfer any. Because now we're just doing one side for each. And then we do 
items down with a we need to do something about our AE system every time I open it up it's just like burp. if I add a channel to it it just hiccups so bad and you're gonna be auto in fluid output like watch this The time from when I placed the cable to when it got connected, the server basically stands still until that, that gets done. Well, all right, let's a little handle that. And then we'll be processing our black granite dust, giving it space to now make some more thorium dust. What do we? Oh yeah, black granite to get that, which is being made over here. But really, we could just throw that directly on top of it, couldn't we? Not have to worry about the AE system transfer. I think there's an auto output on that thing. Because export buses, no. Nope. We're trying to get away from those guys. And we just have to, what, provide you with water, I believe? Which we're doing to an export bus, of course we are. Oh yeah, and you do need power. Dang it. Damn it. John it. You're staying. Okay. So, uh, thorium. We'll take a bucket. Um, hmm. Really got to figure out. I think I think it's just straight up stopped processing the thorium. To be honest, this is a sweatshop we need. get the fluid from the dust. <laughs> That's silly. <clears throat> so we do have to centrifuge. And like if I do that, oh, I did, what did, where did I? Right there, okay. I guess I'm gonna throw it in here and just hope it doesn't take that long. Are you going to recognize that I put thorium dust in there? Oh dear. There it goes. Yikes, that is kind of slow. My only worry is that any uranium we get might get backed up there, but whatever. So we need a fluid extractor and a fluid solidifier, similar to what we've been doing there. Half tempted to move some stuff elsewhere just to make room for more of the stabilized and have them like all in one area. Solidified, solidified, stabilized. So many machines, man, so, so many machines. I 
and and like what what is what is this even doing over here? Oh, I'm guessing it's not automated, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. That one too. So that's a perfect spot for my thorium. Fluid extractor. Get a face. Make ten of those actually. Conveyor. And we're actually going to output to this side. And not the thorium dust, just the straight up. This machine. And solidify it there. And you're going to go up into a drawer. Our uh, cable from back here. Oh, actually, um, nope. We actually got to go back there. Okay. Every little click. All right. <clears throat> So that's thorium done. Yes, we'll need a couple more drawers. We'll go ahead and keep those on us. Key, okay. Solidified xenon. I think we got plenty of xenon. Yep, plenty of xenon. So we just need fluid solidifier and some faces tin water fluid interfaces grab a pump find one open spot to put it. Let's see, what machines are we not? What kind of extruder? Small pipe. Okay, that's probably okay. Uh, I know I was making some extruders somewhere else. Kind of speeding them up by uh, having higher tier. Yeah, yeah, just the normal pipe though. Those are all doing stuff and things. I hope that's automated. And not just someone dumping buckets. Um, yep, yeah, that's platinum and nickel. Oh, 
guess I gotta make another row of these machines. Not sure why Doctor put that there. All right, C E F uh, L V E V I V Egypta. Which can do another M V. Is that the sixteen? Yep. Shut it. Should just do a CEF automation in here for the MV1 at least. Because we use it so often. <clears throat> and similar to what we did there, looks like we've got a cable coming up right there, but we need to go. solidifier with this guy and we'll have the fluid come in here and we'll have the items output on the bottom and we just needed a xenon bucket and a pump that one ready to get it connected. Alright, that'll be Xenon. Uh, radon, same kind of thing. That, that, grab a bucket of radon, grab some faces. So, drawer, like it. That guy. Oh, and a bus. Pump. 
Neon, also same thing. Go and grab the pump. Fluid. Oh, I already had it searched. What are we missing? Chests. Of course we're missing chests. So, drawer, lock it. This guy. Up at the bottom, lock it. So, auto output. Uh, give it a pump. Import. And grab a finger face. So, neon. And a storage bus. Right. We uh, configure that to import. Okay. Uh, fluorine. Why do we not have a bucket of that in the system? It's peculiar. So if we're, uh, yay, let's grab a bucket. Oh man, no empty buckets? There's a bucket. Wait, that's not flurine. I wonder what the flurine's being used for. Acid. Which can be used for touch of floor. Oh god. One of those things really set up. Uh, do we have hydrofluoric acid in here? think so, so that's oh, potentially a good sign. And I think I removed the tetraethylene that he had. Let's see. Diluted hydrochloric acid. Uh oh. No bueno. That's that's the last thing we want to do. Is just have this like something that that's only used for one thing. I guess it's used for two, but we don't use the elemental fluids. Nope. We make all of those manually. So uh, I'm just gonna have to figure out what to do with that. Like that's gonna have to go like that yeah that's that's the only way I can I can see to, to get around that so uh, clear that guy out we'll find another purpose for it and let's see if we can go figure out where we're using hydrofluoric acid nope 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 uh, maybe Okay, that's where we're making hydrofluoric acid. And then you're going to... Where do you output? You go to an import bus. Okay. And that's the problem. So let's get a... Get a drum. And 
uh, fluid bus. That way we'll only have at most 64 buckets of it because it's a temporary fluid that we only use for one other thing. Oh shoot. Dang it, son of a bitch. You do just make one, right? You don't make oxygen too, right? Just, just that? Yeah, just that. Do we have a crafting recipe for buckets? No. <laughs> So I'm gonna do boop and get this guy there. Uh, auto output configure and then that. So that way we shouldn't use up all of our fluorine all the time, just some of the time. take a bit but anyway that's what the this one no neon all right so berkelium californium oh we do have some cali cool hello burke yeah we got some berkelium nice uh 247 i guess it's gonna be the one we want to use suppose <clears throat> so not sure if this is going to be a thing but sub networking with applied energistics Grab those, make some storage buses. I don't know if it works for fluids yet. And if it does work for fluid, if it requires its own separate like, sub network. So to be able to have access to these to these items we're going to need to have a fluid face sorry face and a, and a bus right but then for the fluids I, th I hope it works for fluids I'm just going to break those uh, it's gonna be the opposite. It's gonna be a fluid face and a bus, a bus and a face. Yeah. Now this will have basically its its own little network. So that when we're doing stuff on this, it's not going to affect. Grab some quartz because we make power. It's not gonna affect the main network. Is what I'm hoping. So here goes nothing. Do you work for fluids? Yes, nice. All right. So I should get all those guys going. We're not we're not here for speed uh, for this one. It's it's just 
building them up over time. So I'm not worried about that. What? Was that, was that an in-game quest? Huh. Wasn't expecting to get a quest for just one. Oh. I've also unlocked 64 of the ultimate material. Okay. I could probably do that. Uh, we have 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 2. Nope. Missing 33 hearts. So I gotta get hearts twice. Which means that guy twice. So two of the Draconium Slayers. Can we do any of them? A uh, short coarse flower, okay. And then sapphire dust we don't have? Huh. Wait, chrome ingots? Okay, those these I understand. Glowstone plates though, come on. And then we're having an interpearl situation at the moment too. All right, so glowstone plate. That should just be that guy. Wow. Look at all those cutting salt recipes. Jesus. Um, chrome ingots. Yeah, blast furnace thing. Yes, you are. Um. So we have a lot of chrome dust. So I'm just gonna start and and and, and set up blast furnaces to auto smelt up some chrome dust. So let's grab some heat proof casing. We're gonna need more of that. Um HSSSG is probably fine. Actually, you can probably go with Nichrome even. Um, hmm. Do I really want to get into this? Making more blast furnaces. Because we need it for more than just Chrome, is the, is the problem. No, let's just make a recipe. I will fix it later. Uh, furnace input bus. Uh, yeah. I'm sure we can throw it in with the vanadium gallium. least do one. All oh, right, course. And ender pearls. Oh, these course guys are not doing so hot. They're quite slow indeed. Need to get these in a phyto phytogenic isolator or something, I believe. Dun dun dun, dun. like that. Let's do at least one of those guys. Right, just need the interpearls whenever those happen to come through. Uh, Alright, so I think we're gonna go through and move a couple of these machines just to 
be in the same row. Um, the ones that are like this, we're just pumping the fluid into it and then making that happen. Need another one of those, I'm sure. But before that, I have been neglecting myself an axe. So we're going to do that. So sentient, ender, and some stellar. That should only take a minute. Do vibrant crystal. No, I think it's just the capacitors. So, uh, let's say one of you. have direct as well? Do I have a direct on it? Okay. Yeah, so a vibrant alloy block and a tormented enderman head. And a fork? Huh. Not sure what a fork does, but okay. Fork, yo. Maybe this will tell me. Who needs a hoe when you have a fork? Dot, 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 dot. Okay, I guess it's for like tilling dirt. That's, that's cool. Didn't see how many levels that takes, but there we go. So, tormented enderman head and vibrant alloy block. Head, capacitor, two water bottles, and some solarium. You know what? Because I'm lazy. And don't want to have to make a recipe again for this. There we go. And I do have to make a water bottle recipe too, I guess. Shouldn't be too hard. I think we can fill it up in this thing. Do we have any bottles? Of course not. So we need a bottle recipe too. Just got to make this. Make sure this works. No, it doesn't. That's really retarded. What the frick? Ah. <sighs> So lame. Well, that'll give me enough to say do that. Put away those blast furnace things for now. What was that? Great concrete? Get out of here. Was that a bus? Get out of here. So, let's see. Did it finish? Are you... Are you having problems making said tormented head? Uh... 
Uh, huh. Stuff that doesn't work. Okay, Enderman head, solarium, water. What else? And a basic capacitor. Don't know why you couldn't do that. So I'm making an axe because it, it bugs me that how long it takes for me to uh, break down the uh, drawers. 